I'm so sorry, sir. I didn't expect it. Come in, come in. This is, after all, your classroom now, not mine. Perhaps you will forgive me if I clear out some old papers from your desk. Yes, of course, please do. I just came to have another look round. Didn't think anyone would be here. I shan't be long, I promise you. Oh, please don't hurry, sir. The truth is, I suddenly got the most awful attack of jitters this afternoon. Jitters? Uh, no, sir. Oh. I thought the best way of getting rid of them would be to come here and rehearse taking a class, as it were. I expect you'll laugh at me for that. Why should you expect it? Well, I mean, you're so awfully good at keeping order, aren't you? I saw that this morning. I'm even told that you're known as the Himmler of the Lower Fifth. Himmler? Oh, yes, the Gestapo chief. The Himmler of the Lower Fifth? Who told you that? Well, the headmaster amongst others. I think he exaggerated. I hope he exaggerated. Uh, no, sir, he, he only meant you, you kept the most wonderful discipline. Now, I couldn't even manage 11-year-olds, so what I should be like with 15s and 16s, I shudder to think. It is not so difficult. And, well, they're not bad boys. A little wild and unfeeling, perhaps, but not bad. The Himmler of the Lower Fifth, dear me. I'm afraid I shouldn't have said that. I've been tactless, I'm afraid. No, no. Of course, from the very beginning, I realized I did not possess the knack of making myself light, but at the beginning, at least, I, I did try very hard to communicate to the boys, those boys sitting down there, some of my own joy in the great literature of the past. Of course, I, I failed as you will fail, 999 times out of a thousand. But a single success can atone, and more than atone, for all the failures in the world. And sometimes, very rarely it is true, but sometimes I had that success. That, of course, was in the early years. And then, too, in those early years, the boys used sometimes even to laugh at me. Not with me, of course, never with me, for I have so little sense of humor, but at me, at my little mannerisms and tricks of speech. And that made me very happy. And I remember I used to encourage the boys' laughter by rather overdoing those little mannerisms and tricks of speech for their benefit. Perhaps they didn't like me as a man, but at least they found me funny as a character. And you can teach far more things by laughter than by earnestness. So, you see, for a time at least, I had quite a success as a schoolmaster. I fear this is all very personal and embarrassing for you. You need have no fears about the lower fifth. I'm, I'm, I'm afraid I said something just now that hurt you very much. It's myself you must forgive, sir. Believe me, I'm most desperately sorry. Well, there's no need. I should have known for myself. I knew, of course, that I was not only not liked, but now positively disliked. I realized, too, that the boys, for many long years now, had ceased to laugh at me. I don't know why they no longer found me a joke. Perhaps it was my illness. No. I don't think it was that. Something deeper than that. Not a sickness of the body, but a, a sickness of the soul. At all events, it didn't take much discernment on my part to realize that I had become a an utter failure as a schoolmaster. Still, stupidly enough, I had not realized that I was also feared. The Himmler of the Lower Fifth. I suppose that will become my epitaph. <laughs> well, I bequeath you this room. I predict that you will have great success in it. Thank you, sir. 
I, I shall do my best. You will, I know, respect the confidence I have just made you. I should hate you to think I wouldn't. I'm sorry to have embarrassed you. I, I really don't know what came over me. I, I have not been very well, you know. Well, goodbye, my dear fellow, and my best wishes. Goodbye, sir, and the very best of good luck to you, too, sir, in your future career. Oh, yes. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>